Hello, and welcome to Darkwood Alpha 7.1. I had meant to do the video series for Alpha 7, but I never got around to it due to a number of personal things going on. Nothing serious, but just, you know, distractions, work, moving, etc. Couldn't really, didn't really have much time to play games at all. But here I am, and they've done two updates to Alpha, to Dar Alpha, to Darkwood since I've last played anything. Um, there's not many changes in the options, though it looks like it's already here, because for one thing I had to rebind all my stuff, which was lame. But I noticed two new things here that I think might be kind of exciting, or I've just totally forgotten about them. Uh, one is that there's jump on space now, which is interesting, because you weren't able to deliberately jump before. Um, and the other thing is there's like far look, so there's some things here that I don't really, um, can't bind keys to them, but apparently they are things in this list, and that's a little confusing, but hopefully we'll, um, we'll make sense of them as time goes on. Um, yes, oh, and also, uh, that the, uh, dynamic resolution option is still a thing, although I don't really need it because I pretty much always just play at 1080, so it's fine. Anyway. Let's go ahead and obliterate this old profile because there's no save file you're trying to load. Alpha 5.0 is incompatible with your game version. Okay, if you wish to continue playing on this save, please downgrade your version using instruction below. Otherwise, you can delete the save and free up a profile slot. Nope, go for it. Normal. No. Wait, what's hard again? You have a limited number of lives. After that's game over. Right, they added this in, I think, 6. And then the permadeath mode. I like normal. And I guess I'm going to play through the prologue again, in case it has changed this time. I read all this stuff last time, but I'm going to go ahead and read it again. You are playing an alpha version of a very challenging and unforgiving game. Due to the nature of alpha versions, it may be unbalanced and unfair. You may experience bugs, ranging from minor annoyances to crashes and save game corruption. If you prefer a smoother learning curve and playing experience, please wait for the final version. And it does take a little while to generate the world, but that's okay. And yeah, I'm... I'm a little excited to see all the changes they've put in because the uh, the patch notes, patch notes, revision notes um, for 7 and 7.1 are pretty substantial. Like, there's apparently cutscenes now, and there seem to be a whole smorgasbord of new, new, uh... Oh, here we go. All I see is fear and hatred in their eyes. The doctor, I think. As if I was the one responsible for the spreading plague. As if I was the source of all the plagues in this land. It's a little bit redundant, but okay. Worms! Worms in feet. Worms in feet. But I don't have anywhere to hide, nowhere to run. The woods have devoured all the exits. To his brain, where we belong. That's bright. Ah, well, so far it's the same. I will take your pills. My old notepad. This is new, I think. All right, has a notepad. Great. Can I can I do anything with that? Where's the J key? I can't do that now. Okay, I pressed a key. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know these notes by heart, I don't want to read them now, alright. I'm thinking... Homemade device for making moonshine. Okay, I, I was about to say that I was thinking of not reading stuff aloud, but I think it just helps. <sighs> it helps you know where I am. The only thing that grows in this land, it is edible. I still have some left. Potatoes. Good, good potatoes. Alright, so far so good. These are redder than I remember them being, but okay. I'd raise out of juice, I need to fill into full gasoline can. I saw a broken tractor down to the east. Maybe I could find some gasoline there. Okay, so we're looking for gasoline. I think that's new. This is new. My tools, they haven't been sterilized for years. They won't make a difference for the locals anyway. I see. So it's okay. It's pretty terminal. Photo! 1206.85. I don't really know what's going on in this picture. I think that's the point. There's nothing of worth left in here, but it's worth a hundred! My old Zenit S camera. That is probably some 
pull cages this time, they're empty. They really are empty. Oh no, no, that one has a rag. That was a lie. You lied to me. The shoes? Yes, but there's nothing of interest in the shoes. I would rather not open it. I spent too much time to lock him in there. Yep. And so that's, um... The implied presence of uh, one of the characters later in the game. I used to store stuff in here, but it jammed a long time ago. Could open it with a lockpick. Don't have any lockpicks. That's all fine. Let's see what's here. Right, he sleeps in a uh, magic circle. Radio Unitra. Monica. There's been radio silence for years, although sometimes I can hear voices among the noise. Give me one second here. There we go. Wireless mouse time. Ah, oh, no, it's too slow. And yeah, no, it broke. Give it a moment. It'll settle. There we go. That was a great... Uh, am I running out of gas? So that that's usually what that means. That's a lot of supplies. Oh, the front door key. Great. Rags, alcohol, medical book. Oh, I can look at it now. That's neat. He's looking at rashes. I have no idea what that means. Bitch, uh, I can't really read Polish. I think that's just the author's name. Or it's like something medicine. I have no idea. I best not enter this room right now. It looks like an operating table. That's good. There's pictures of skulls. I know these notes by heart. I don't want to read them now. Yes, yes, it would be suicide to dismantle them, I get it. Oh, I like how there's, um, if you notice, if you look, like, off in the distance here, there's a little bit of blur. That's, they've had that for a while now, but I always like to see it. I think it's a subtle way to sort of make your fo make you focus in here. Sort of simulate the, uh, I think I left my key in the wardrobe. You did! Unlocked. Yay! Alright. Wooden doll, a large humanoid doll with a cut-out face. Indeed it is, and its purpose remains unclear. Have the shadow, have the shadows become less, um... They used to be super hard, and now they're, looks like they're a little bit fuzzy. Is that anyone else? Oh, I can search the grave now, and there's nothing in it. I don't remember that. By the way, this wooden doll, I think if you look on the Darkwood Wiki, um, there's some claims that it's possible that uh, the guy that we play as later, because if you're watching at this point, I've played through Alpha 6 already, so I'm operating on the assumption that you know a thing or two about this game, but this guy in the prologue is not the uh, the guy that we end up playing. I was once a luxury, now it's a heap of useless trash. Some time ago, every road leading here was devoured by the woods. Daily newspaper of the Polish People's Republic. Tribuna Ludu. Tribuna Ludu. Something U.S. President, something U.S.S.R. Nope, still can't read Polish. Wood logs, yes. Yes. Still running low on gas. What was I saying? Oh yes, there's claims that this wooden doll's face is the cutout for the mask used by the, the, the real protagonist, I guess, as far as I know. And, um... I don't know how I feel about those. I'm a little bit of the opinion. There's not a whole lot to stand on for that, uh, but it'll be interesting if it was the case that, like, they do, you know, this is some kind of sign that that he leaves behind or something. But for the moment, it's just kind of one of those. I think it's just a kind of a weird mystery that I hope goes somewhere. But I think it's a bit reaching to say like, oh, it's probably just the mask he wears, because it's also not. To what was that? The barricade? Okay. It's also not completely clear that he is in fact. Uh, wearing a mask. It just has a really weird face. We'll, we'll, we'll see you later. Don't worry about it. Away! Oh, okay. This is a jump button. Never mind. I'm dumb. We've been able to do that all along. And here I was hopeful. It's been a while since I last played Darkwood, as you may or may not be able to tell. Wood pile? No? Alright. Axe. <sighs> I'm gonna do this this time. Because I can... So I'll tell you equip stuff. This is one of your first Darkwood videos. Bring up inventory and then drop it into the hotbar. You can cycle items in the hotbar. Oh, that's much smoother. They've they've had hotbar scrolling for a while now, um, but now it's actually 
That's much better. It's like one click. My dog. I don't think he's going to make it. I should end his suffering. I agree! Farewell, doggy. Ah, oh, man, that's a... That's quite the howl. It doesn't drop anything either. It's great. Anyway. So, so far, a few extra details here and there, but it's a... Well, by and large the same. Um, I don't know if there's any actual draw consequences to doing that or to not doing it. I hope that in the final game there's um, some consequences. And for now I think I'll leave a mystery as to why. Trees grow too fast. I won't be able to keep up with cutting them down much longer. Oh, so this was cut down before, huh? I think that line of dialogue is new. That's, that's good. Dead cow. Bone. Why not? Bear trap. A bear trap. I must be careful. The woods are full of them. I just got a bear trap. Great. So bear traps are a trap you can deploy. Left shift to run. The road's new, but now that's actually an explicit detail, huh? Oh, they're introducing that here now. That pops up every time you, excuse me, find a new, uh, a new location. 50 kilometer an hour limit sign. All right. Access the map. Oh, this place has a map now. Your position is not marked on the map unless you are inside a location. To navigate the woods, you will need to learn to approximate your position based on the locations you have found previously. That's cool. So this is explicitly a mechanic now. That's great. There were some people... There have always been people asking for, you know, like, I want to see where I am on the map. I don't like this garbage. And it used to be really hard to orient yourself. There's a lot more locations now. It's much more plausible. But I really like... I hope they stick with this idea of you do have to, uh, creepy music, don't like. Mm -hmm. I, I like the idea that you don't really know. The roads have devoured all the roads to the outside world. No one is able to, s no one is able to slip through this thicket and yet. No, to get outside, you mean? Mm. So, yeah, I approve of the decision to make an explicit, uh, And see, I guess this is an example, right? Like, I mean, it's a pretty linear area. There's no real chance we'd get lost, but now it's there, which is good. Ooh, that's an item bag. Great. Stiff. Did, I did not read what that just said. Um, sorry. You can pause and go stare at it if you really want to. Nothing in that direction. So here we go. Look, these parts of the woods are dark. I should craft a torch. Okay, crafting menu popped up a little tutorial script, but I already know how to do that. And I have all these supplies to make. I don't have, so you can make one with gasoline and with the match, alcohol, rag, and planks. They're called planks now. They used to just be called wood. That's why the wiki updated. I had to drop some of the items. What items? Bottle. Oh, right, because consuming alcohol now gives you a bottle. I think I like what I have in my inventory more than that bottle. Alright. So see, that's another thing. Notice, I am not using my axe anymore. I can only use the torch or the axe. So that's one of the things about this game where it's a little bit, you know, you're gonna be vulnerable. Do I just hear something? Mm. Jump is not new. I was all excited. I was like, oh man, can we like jump over enemies or something? No, no, it's just the abandoned house. Okay, cool. Damn it. I just feel like an idiot now though, because I was like, oh, I don't remember being able to jump. It's like, hehe, <laughs> yes, yes I can. Oh god. Hi, tree. In a few days it will be completely absorbed. Cool, tree. Thanks for eating the. Keeping it clean, I guess. You scared the hell out of me. I'm leaving now. Alright. Magic circle, half man, half moose. Rags. So many rags. I don't really know where they're going with the whole... this thing. If it's like, are people making sacrifices to some kind of old god to free them? 
Or is this kind of the stuff that- more rags, holy crap. Stuff that caused it in the first place. Can I get back there? Can repair the doorway. Could repair the doorway if I wanted to. Can I get in that room? I forget how. It has been a while since I played Darkwood. Yeah, you run and wheeze smoke here. I swear they wheeze like they smoke so much. I don't really care about red. This room is worthless to me is at this point, isn't it? I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it. There's not a whole lot to do in the prologue. It's mostly tutorial, especially this part. This part is especially tutorial. It's a good tutorial. It's a great tutorial for first timers because it's still sort of you know, it's building up the world, like with the, this thing and, and that, and um, giving you sort of a flavor for what you're going to feel. Cra taught me to craft. I like the particle effect. I think that's changed a little bit. Wolf and man. Same-ish magic circle. We'll find out, I guess. And now we're out. Don't need the torch anymore. Ah, yes. Him. He's important. I think this one is still alive. Search the unconscious one's big metal key. If there's an exit out of these woods, this must be the key to it. I like how it's worth 1500. Oh, oh, okay. That's a bug. He's unconscious. I've never seen him before. Mm, the key is different, I think. All he has with him is this key and a journal. I think they've like made that a more special item. If he got into the woods somehow, he must know how to get out of them. Of course, he won't willingly tell me anything. Truth serum away! But this, however... Doesn't really matter. Because he's gonna tell me regardless. And now... Oh, oh this is new! I need to get out of this wretched forest. Hear me, you rat. Like his bloody... Show me, and I will let you go. This is their cutscene, I guess. Sometimes I can hear her voice. She's calling me. Calling me to return home. Where is the exit? Where? Show me where! Yeah, <laughs> I like how he's- this is just like standard attack moves. <laughs> That's great! I like how it's pre- it's in-game in a way that this game deserves. Oh! I will kill you like a dog if I have to. Okay, so this whole setup is very, this is all new to me. It's probably Alpha 7, maybe? I don't know. Let me know, if you know. The fucker stole my key. Okay. I'm hurt. I could use these rags to craft some bandages and heal myself. I like how they talk about crafting, even though, like, in... Entry to a small cellar, probably for storing food. Could open it with a lockpick. Have any lockpicks? But we can make one. Let's go ahead and make bandages as well. Use bandages. Use lockpick. Unlocked. Great. Flashlight and shovel. Heavy weapon with good reach. Weapon. Flashlight. Great. That fucker still Mikey. You really upset about this? All right. I know to do this, but it's pretty easy to figure out. Wait, do I? This barricade is too strong to dismantle, but it ain't too strong to whack down. Shovel bulk too. Prepared on a workbench, value 15. Okay. You! So this has a whole different flavor this time around? Because before you would just wake up in there, and there was a whole, like, 
you know, like, oh, he gave you some kind of drug. And then you just had that scene where you, like, wake up in here, and then you see that, and you're like, oh, okay, this whole thing must be some kind of... I must be on a trip, I guess. But this makes it clearer that you want that key. You know what it's for. Better not leave the house at night. It's safer in here. Or is it nighttime? I can't mess with those tools. Oh, by the way, that's a, it's right click. Turn it on and off. I think it's cool. Yep, we've seen that before. Nothing new, I guess. And we know, so his... I can't open this door. There's no door here anymore, though. That's the weird thing. Something I still don't know. I still feel like something's a trip here. I mean, guy does use, um... What? Um... I kind of like the new fuzzy, uh, door stuff. Drag. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. So they've actually changed the setup then. It used to be... Yeah, it, it, so, okay. I'm putting this together, so if you haven't seen any footage from before now, see how this metal bed is kind of empty or whatever? Like, something bad's happened here for sure, but... Before, there was you, like this guy. There was just him, seeing himself lying on there. Which reinforced the idea that this is all just some kind of crazy, crazy drug trip. But now they've gotten away from that, because now I definitely know who I am, and I definitely, like want my key back, and I'm definitely not seeing myself. So this is a different tone. Okay. I think this makes a little more sense now, because it, it used to be... And you can watch my old Alpha 6 video on this. It used to be that you... What you do is you come out of the room, you can forage stuff, and then come here, and um, the generator would talk to you, which was, again, that whole... This, this is kind of a trip. Um, and tell you to put gas in it, and that was it. They're like teaching you how to generator. That's not there anymore. So I wonder. They don't like these noises. A very sturdy road table leg. I can use it as a weapon. Great. Better than dead shovel. How's that? noises and I don't like it. Oh, it's the radio. Mm. Oh, to refill the generator, equip a gasoline tank, cover your curse. Okay. Hold right mouse button to aim and left to pour. Alright. So now they just, they went away from the, it's an acid trip to I don't... I don't know. Okay. I don't know if I'll get to keep my items. It's unlikely, but let's pretend that I am. Because enough stuff has changed. Yeah? That's totally fucking new. You okay there, Mr. Radio? Clips is two dials. It's two devices. His mouth is wide open. I can hear distorted voice. Barely distinguishable from radio static. The radio has turned into a person. Oh, God. Okay. It's not hostile. I appreciate that. Four eight nine to do. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm here. Got it. Why are you helping me, crazy radio man? Ah, <sighs> seems stuck. I need to apply some force on it. Is this a new thing? Can I like ram? Help me. Ah, oh, great. Yep. Fuck you. Stay 
on the other side. I'm not letting you come at me. And I'm not gonna fight you either. I think I have to fight you, don't I? I don't wanna fight you. I'm just belligerent. That's not fun. I wanna see what you think of this guy. Oh. Oh, cool. Yeah, he's gone now. Turn back into a radio. Thanks, helpful radio man. Does this have Fortnite if I'd written on you or on it? No. What the hell? What? What the fuck just happened? I'm leaving. You can have your fun. Oh, you run quickly, don't you? Fine. I'll do it. You look like the doctor. You can do this all day. You're not very good at this. That's supposed to be after all. out here? No. Hi. I want to see what the dodge, like one of the notes was unnerfed dodge. Is it just because it goes further? Oh wow. No, oh, it only takes half a bar. That's neat. Can I dodge to the side? No. Alright. Sorry. That's different. Yeah. Why does he have this on him? Because cause you do normal. Now what? The, wh who's talking? Are you talking? How do you want to get how do you think you can manage all by yourself? I don't know. Is that the doctor? It's just bad. Chompers! No! No, stop trying to repair the doorway! Now is not the time! Oh god! Oh god! Ah. Ooh, chompers! <laughs> oh, they're still terrifying. That's a lot of blackness and I'm concerned about- Okay, we're loading. That's good. <laughs> Damn it! Game crashes. I don't won! A man just turned into a radio and back again. Hello, oven. A pleasant warmth is emanating from the oven. I can sense a weird, although well-known to me, scent. <coughs> Excuse me. It's the smell of the protective gas, which provides me some safety during the night. The fumes are distributed all over the house with long pipes. If I stay inside my hideout during the night, I might have a chance of surviving. Oh. I have a chance of surviving. They should say I might have a chance of surviving, because that's more accurate. When I came here a few days ago, the oven was pretty much ready to operate. I just needed to light it up to make it work. <laughs> it must have been one of our hideouts. The locals don't need to inhale this shit. See, that's another thing. It says our hideouts, right? So, like, who is this guy? What group is he a part of? Um, and why... Why does it... You know, like, the doctor also mentioned that... What was his line? Something like, well, look like this one is still alive. And I don't think that was a generic, this one. I think that was a... Like one of these. Look at the weird bottle. There are lots of. Well, I guess there's only one of those. There's an instruction manual on the bottle. The probability of death when staying outside of the vicinity of the protective gas after nightfall is 99 of 100. It is advised to uniformly spread the gas inside closed environments. Warning! The gas does not provide full safety during the night. One should keep the indoor, well lit areas to minimize risk. Look inside the pot. A small empty pot. I haven't used it yet. I haven't felt any hunger or thirst since the accident a few days ago. Although I catch myself thinking about those mushrooms. The red, pulsating ones. They look so juicy and delicious. Maybe I will find a use for the pot after all. What accident? Was it the... the thing? Cook? Cool. Alright. So this is the official welcome to Darkwood, I guess. Cause this is uh this is it. This is where shit gets real. This is the real deal here. No more prologue. Cool. Some crafting materials. Yesterday I barricaded one of the windows. If 
I want to stay here for some more time, I should do the same with the other windows. Okay. Repair item. Nothing to repair. Upgrade item. Nothing to repair. Can't upgrade you yet. Need planks. I will be able to craft more items and fit more upgrades into weapons when I upgrade the workshop. Excellent. I like the little pipes. <gasps> Mushrooms! The red pulsating kind! My favorite, apparently. Also, yep, there's a little, little V-shaped gap right there. That's a lot of detail. That's cool. I'm not gonna head outside just yet. So I like that they've set up kind of a little goal of a fortress building here. Where they're like, yeah, you know, if you want to stay here for a while, you should barricade a window. I'm gonna barricade this too, just out of habit. There's no longer a tree over here, is there? Good. There used to always be a tree in this corner, which was rounded and made it kind of weird to put that on there. Ooh, more mushrooms. Harvest that. Harvest it all. Received odd mushroom. It's almost out of gasoline, but there's still enough to last another night. I bet I could find a gasoline can in the underground entrance. Oh, okay. We know where that is. Hey, you. Tree corpse. Torch, too. That's neat. Oh, well, there's... I don't know how long that lasts, actually, but it's got some gas, so that's good. I have no idea what time of day it is, because I don't have a watch. Let's go explore here. Uh, the bed is no longer a storage unit. That's fine. It was never an especially useful one. I'm going to leave that there. The bear trap under the window is still open. Looks like this night was uneventful. I don't know about that. Mushroom book. Oh yeah, uh, by the way, someone pointed out, um, pointed out in one of the comments that this is actually a real book. It's super hard to search because you pretty much have to type, have to type Polish to get it to come up, but it is totally a real book. Um, it's been, you know, Edited a little bit, but cover is there, and I think they obscured the author. We should take Zygrishbov. Something domovim is house. Uses of the uses of mushrooms. Gospodastvi uh, domovim. This is home, or like you know, it has the same root as like domicile in English. Alright, well, I guess that's, that's about all there is to this place. Did I take the mushroom book? Is that, is that what happens now, that you can like take these? Do they become journal entries? Where is the J key? Aha! Notes? Oh, cool! The use of mushrooms in the household, yes. I don't know what that, what that middle word means then. Yeah, this thing, I'm sure, yeah, that thing made sense. We're in for something interesting, aren't we? Do we still have... I'm gonna go run around the house real quick. See, yes! This is still a thing. Night protection. You're the hideout under the protective gas. All the way out here? Really? So, saw. 30 blanks. 30 plank. 30 wood... Wait, 30 fuel, and it converts wood into planks. That's right. Push. Bush. You bush. So that's interesting. Silent forest, that's new. Used to be called. So there used to be just meadow and I think forest. Now they have a little. the dry meadow and the silent forest. I'm cool with that. I like the. you know, the tone that gives off. This tree looks interesting. What's up here? Looks like the tree is kind of growing inside the other one, trying to eat it. This is the boundary of the world? Is that right? Here? Yeah, I'm kind of on the path. So that's to be expected. You know, I am really glad they got rid of the well. Because that was not the most exciting thing. Bear trap. Disarm. Great. Picked one up in the prologue so we know we can pick these things up. I got some scrap metal. Great. So that's still how it has been since Alpha 5 or something. I don't know, but now there will be a video record of this. Uh, what was that noise? It's 
really hard to see under the trees, it turns out. Alright, well, this is probably the worst direction to head in, isn't it? I guess, if anything, we should be heading towards the underground entrance. It's kind of where we've got the most clues we've gotten. are pointing in that direction. But we have some nice amount of, uh, you know, indicators here. There's no more wolfman that greets me. That's different. Oh, wood logs. Why, yes. Okay, so there's the thing that turns wood into the saw. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's called the saw. It has a name, and I shall use it. Transfer. Alright, now it's one wood log for 32 wood for three planks. How much does it take? Seven nails and three planks. So here we go. And now we have our first little safish area for the night. I'm gonna drag one of you. Actually, yeah, okay. I'm gonna drag them both. I'm gonna drag this one into here just so that I can have something in here. Alright, I'm going to drag that one into this area, because by and large I don't really have any business being in this room quite yet. Why did I close the door? I have just made this harder for myself. Alright, come here. Lamp. Hmm. Dragging anything this game is such a tedious operation. It's kind of supposed to be. Alright. I wouldn't be too safe out here either, but eh, I don't want it to be dark out here. We'll see if this is a good idea. I'm gonna leave this near the doorway. Alright. Cool. Oh, we've also gotten some mushrooms. Is it enough to cook? Right? Eight essence. I need 40. Alright, well, we're 20% of the way there. That's fine. Alrighty. Oh yes, and another thing that I want to do with this this time with dark wood is that I think I'm going to try to do a video per in-game day, which you know when uh, when some of the other mechanics it won't be exactly like well it's day 24 see you next video but probably only going to do you know something interesting per day well, once I can get somewhere interesting per day. I will start another video, unless there is, uh, like, towards the end, I might just be like, yep, I just need another day to do something. Oh, we're already here. I technically didn't need to find that location. That's okay. What do we got? I haven't found any enemies yet. I don't have any weapons. Can I make any weapons? Oh, that's right. I need to craft stuff. This is the place. I will find the entrance to the underground here. Glad you're confident about that. I'm less confident than I used to be. Oh, did they move this? It used to be right behind the door, I think. Or maybe there still is one over there. It was super cheap. But also, you know, that was dark wood. What do you expect? You want to just be able to, like, barge through doors into the unknown and not get punished for it? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that one. I remember you. You have been a nemesis far too many times. That's not a corpse. That bed cannot... Oh, I almost walked right into it. That would have been bad. So if you walk into the mushrooms, which you might see me do later on at some point, because I'm not exactly... I fuck up often. Uh, the... Pack of cigarettes. Still says all the stuff in Polish it used to, which, by the way, thanks to a kind soul, um, this just says, like, 20, you know, you know, like, the count of it or whatever. This is this is a brand. I think it just says, like, club. Um, and then there's, like, a, this is the price right here. So, it's just a crumpled bag of cigarettes. I don't think it has any useful information on it. Otherwise, it probably would have been localized. 
That's part of the game. Part of the game is learning how to Polish. There's stuff outside on either side. I need to make sure I go get it at some point. So, the, I kind of did that because I've done this so many times, but you can notice that this is what you're supposed to do because of these scratches on the floor, which is a cool way to let the player know what they got to do. The entrance to the underground tunnels. Excellent. Dim light reveals the wet walls of the underground passage. The rest is covered in complete darkness. I need a light source to continue. That corpse used to have a map on it. It no longer does, and this makes me sad. I don't know if that's enough torch. Let's attack it. I don't trust that that's enough torch. I'm gonna want to make full torch. Can I? Do I have equipment for that? Uh oh. Oh, okay, good. Can we make a torch? Yes! With gasoline! Which I don't want to do, so I'm gonna go loot the other thing. Ow. Why? I'm gonna go loot that other thing, which probably just has planks and nails. Frankly, but, you know. I can hope. Yep. It always just has planks and nails. Cow? Nope. I still have no idea what the function of the bone in the prologue is. I guess you can just be a psychopath and pick up the bones of dead things like me. Oh, hello, doggy. I have no way to defend myself against you. Uh, uh. You know, at this point... Why would I want to go to the Uncorn entrance again? Didn't I want to go here for gas? I don't want to do this, but I'm going to because I don't really got much else to do. This will probably make for the, like one of the more exciting first day video options. So, alright, I'm going to go ahead and waste the gas. Oh, that's right! These things, these things age now. I keep forgetting. I'm go ahead and burn through you if I can. Thick wooden stakes only barely hold the sloped ground along with the timing of uproots. Construction seems like it's about to collapse at any moment. That's reassuring. Thanks for telling me that. Alright, lizard cat thing. Oh look, pustules. These have been here for a while. They still creep me out. This part of the tunnel is blocked by some overgrown tangled roots. Okay. I don't like how fast my torch is withering away. Ah. Oh boy. This is a uh, corpse. Hello, weird thing. Still carry a weird stone. Still don't know. I'm just pretty sure those are still useless. Alright. Alright, we made it. Kinda. Mushrooms! Yeah! Just the one? Blocked. Alright, well, I trust you that it's just the one. I am almost out of torch, so I did not need to craft the other torch. Not need, but I'm gonna wanna. I'm glad I did. Let's put it that way. Mushrooms. I hear you. Oh, this is new! It's closed, but this is my only way of getting out of this forest. I won't be able to open it without my key. Wow, well, now I know what it looks like. Look at the handle. The handle is covered in a thick layer of dust. No one has opened it for at least a fortnight. Looks like we were the last ones here. We. Okay, press here against keel. Among the howling of the wind, I can hear a faint voice. It seems familiar and comes from inside the keyhole. Someone is calling my name, so we have a name! That's good. That sounds creepy. Alright, so that's kind of all I can do. There's no gasoline down here. Uh, yeah, I heard. I heard you. I still hate this part. This part will never. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. I don't know where it comes from either. I just know that it comes.
Yep. Oh no. No, 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 no. You can you can stay right over there. I do not need you. Ah! Return to the world. Yes. Oh thank god. Mmm. Mmm. Fucking choppers. Ah. <sighs> that still stresses me out. Is it nightfall? Are we screwed? No, the ground is just grey. Like it is sometimes. Uh, I see mushroom indicator. Which means mushroom forest. Which means that there's a couple poison mushrooms we can recover. Somewhere inside. I think we'll still have the... Oh, hello. That was close. There's some more. It's usually three, I think. Rule of three. Yeah, alright. Looks like it's sundownish. So, let's see if we can make our way back home. I'm pretty sure it's in this direction. Ooh. Maybe. Well, let's go further north. Yep, we almost ran past it. Good thing we checked the map. Ah, it's a good thing I checked the map. I'm gonna try and upgrade now. Before night comes. Let's see. Hey, essence. Hooray! No, I don't want to do... This was bad. I should have waited until... No, because then they might have expired. If we do shadows now, that means they might show up. I don't have an option. See farther. That's not always good. Once a day, you can drop a part of your body, which will also serve as a map on your marker. can also be used as bait. That's good. Mushroom healing. Eating mushrooms restores your health. That's not usually a good use of mushrooms, so I don't think that's useful. Once a day, you can restore your health and sitting next to turned on lamps. That's always attractive, because I would like to... Excuse me. Heal stuff without having to use finite healing items. But for now, because we're going to get to choose... So the way this works, um, if you're a first-time dark wooder, is... Uh, we get to pick one negative trait, which at rank at tier one is only one. And then we get to pick a positive trait, and on our next, you know, level up, as it were, when we get enough other essence from mushrooms, among other things, we uh, get to pick one more, and then we move on to the next tier. That's at least how it's been for a while. We'll see if it holds up at all. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. It also used to be that if you died, you lost any essence you had accumulated. They've made it a little less brutal in that sense, because it just it just made pe it just so, so all that I the only thing it made me do was that I would have one of these wardrobes that was full of mushrooms, <laughs> so that I wouldn't have to. <laughs> I would only use them when I could, so there was no benefit at all. It just meant that I'd hoard mushrooms somewhere and, and then use them at some later point. At this stage, I will do that. I don't have to do... Oh, I have to go turn on lights. I'm gonna go turn on lights. And let's see how much uh, this consumes. I probably turned it on too early, but I don't have a watch, so I don't want to risk it. Anyway. Oh right, I made a plank with nails. Excellent. I don't know that I need two torches. We'll keep them for now. Um, what else is it good for? Can I upgrade the workshop? I need more planks, need more nails. Great. I have some bandages, so that's nice. I'm gonna stick those right there. I will warn you beforehand, a substantial portion of this game is inventory management. Expect to see this kind of screen a lot. I'm gonna stash you here. We'll use you later. Don't want to stash that. Um, does it make sense to carry around planks? Only if I need emergency torches, which I don't because I just have a torch. I can go ahead and make one. 
bear trap. And keep this in here. I don't really think I need an emergency torch. What can I craft on the fly? Healing items? Does it even make sense to carry nails? I guess the only reason to carry on plank and nails is because you need to fix stuff. What? No, no, you stay over there. I guess it's snarling at something else, actually. I wish they could repair you more. What are they snarling at? Hope they're snarling at each other. Oh, what? Don't do that. Whatever you do, don't do that. Yeah, whatever, okay. Matches. If I remember correctly, it does make sense to carry around a few of those as well. I think I want to keep both of these torches for now, cause, just because I want to make sure I use up that one. I'll place this later. These are useful to have because you can craft healing items on the fly. Where did- oh, there are my bandages. I have them equipped. I'd rather have this equipped. That's better. Uh-oh. Ooh! This is dangerous, but I don't care. Mushrooms! Come here. Damn it. You went away too soon. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about me. It's too dangerous to cook in the night. Screw you. What? What just opened? A doorway somewhere opened. I'm gonna hide in here now. Dog went away. First few nights are usually pretty uneventful, unless you, like, conspire to make them eventful. I'm gonna go hide in here, because if anything comes in, I can hide behind the door. Yes. I'm okay with this. Wispy things? I think that's the gas, actually. That's okay. I'm okay with that. That's fine. Oh no. Where is it coming from? Shit. I don't like that. That has meant that there is the weird fetus thing. I don't know if those will be a thing this time around. Uh huh. Whoa. Is the generator out of running out? No. No way. Please last the whole night. Please last the whole night. Please last the whole night. Right, hold on. Shit. I put it away over here. Alright. Oh, good. Oh, good. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Woo, day two. All right, I'm not gonna cut the video off here because time is freeze. Woo. I'm gonna cut off before we head out to actually make use of the day, which might actually be where I stop for the day, frankly. Because there's been, ooh, wow. Okay, so that was, I'm gonna just have it all. I do not want that experience again. Uh, so 
So usually when there's that sound, there's like a banshee slash that arrives and leaves behind like a weird nest somewhere. So I didn't. Normally there's like a red glow you can see. Oh, oh, this is different. The wolfman is here. I can smell your stench from afar. We gotta do not have an appetite for carcasses, meat. The figure, the figure hides his face under a hood. It stinks of wet ground and fur. I know what you're after, meat. I can help you with getting back the thing you lost, if you help me. What do you say, comrade? He leans towards me. I hear a quiet giggle from under the hood. I knew this would interest you. Before we make a deal, you need to prove to me you're capable of doing your assignment. I don't want to waste my time on weaklings. Do you understand me, yes? Your first job will be to get from the dry meadow to the silent forest. You think that's going to be easy? I would take a few days to get ready if I were you. I were you. When you get there, you will find me in the eastern part of the silent fortress. For fortress. Forest. Remember this. The likes of you always crawl back to me. I didn't see what it was that I just got. Plastic chick. What the fuck is this? My question's exactly, Mr. Wolfman. So we can still trade with you. That's nice. Chain. Long, sturdy chain. That's a new item. These are all some of the new crafting things. Red chicken egg. I don't know. Oh, you're a fox, aren't you? Of course you have a chicken egg. Of course you have the weird red ones. Because why not? Trap for bears and other things. I don't really have anything I want to trade. Well, I could take the gas. Yeah, well. Gossip? If you want to live a bit longer, me. You'd be wise not to venture too far from here. Only a few of those who went to the dense woods have made it back alive, and none of them were able to tell their happy stories. <laughs> yeah, it's a jolly fellow. I'd avoid getting in trouble if I were you, at least until you get some better weapons. Good advice. Taking a stroll through the woods after dusk means certain death meet. Stay in your hideout after dusk and pray for the morning light. Alright. Just repeating. Yep, cycling. Cool. If you want to see my pretty face again before hiding, heading to the south forest, I'll be waiting in the southwestern part of the dry meadow. Okay, so that's his hideout now. Cool. Oh yeah, that was one of the new things that happened. He now has hideouts in every part of the secret pack. Cool. You're worthless for now. It's been worthless in the past. Oh. Cool. Oh, so the journal now has stuff. On these stupid savages, everything should go according to plan. Hmm, that's reassuring. 1207.85. Okay. Flash photo was totally 685. I don't remember anything from the attack on our camp. Somehow I'm wearing a coat which I've never seen before. Must have changed my clothes along the way. I don't recognize myself anymore. I can barely hold this pencil. My body is changing. I no longer feel hunger or thirst. That's good. You've been infected by whatever it is, I guess. Key to the underground number 21. I remember his face, the man who saved, then tortured me. But I don't remember how I ended up here. The fucker took my key, my only chance of getting out of here. He took a part of my journal. I doubt he will be able to find the underground passage with it. I should check it just to be sure, see if the door is closed. I don't think he will still be at the place where he held me. It makes no difference, as I have no idea how to get back there. And then, yep, the woods. Day one, the night. I need to remember to get my, put my hide out before dusk. Only the protective gas can give me relative safety from the woods at night. Underground passage. The armored door is locked. Good news, the thief stole my key. Apparently does not know where the door is. Bad news, I don't know where the thief is. Day two, wolf. My mind must be going. I met a person with the head of a wolf. He promised to help me get back my key if I find him his, in his camp in the eastern part of the silent forest. Before I go there, I should explore the silent meadow. Wolf camp. Wolf's first camp is in the southwestern part of the dry meadow. Okay, this, these are still unused. Great. Let's cook a little bit. Wrap up this episode. Well, how much was that? 15? I don't remember. It was a good amount. 40? My wolfman. Well, I wonder if the three come back or if I'll be seeing the wolfman every night or something. From now on. How's the map look? 
pretty sparse. All right. Well, I'm gonna run out somewhere. Where should I go? Underground entrance. We've pretty much done everything there. We have a new goal over here. I kind of want to go explore this thoroughly, and then I guess we'll just we'll just clean up the old woods next time. Um, for now, though, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Hopefully, this saves. This didn't save. I'm gonna have to go save manually. Damn it! It's wasted time. I wonder if this still saves, actually. Let's see. Oh, you're still here. Why are you still here? That's weird. Does this save? Well, talking to him saves. Does this save? Yes! Cool. So, using the oven saves still. Great. Alright. Well, hopefully you guys appreciate the uh, higher quality of these videos, because with my... Between the last time I played Darkwood and this time, I should have much better quality recordings. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'll see you on the next video on day two of Darkwood.